I was staying uh, two car lengths on the road in Poplar where I just saw the lady had the gentlemanly facing and after the police came I got the issue resolved she then pulled the car towards me telling me that she would um she would charge me and I told her I'm not speaking to her because she didn't identify herself to me and I don't have any proof that she's a police officer and that's when the lady got out her car and choked me and then she took my hair and pull, pull it where then I started to retaliate and two task force officers then held on to me so that was two uh, two task force officers and the lady was holding me and then it was it was taken to or I police station well in the foyage in the station the lady got out of her car outside and came inside towards me asking me what I was doing out there saying down she told me I was under arrest and she cursed she said I told you what you were on the effing arrest we don't hear we don't know here which in the other officers to send her like well, you don't leave the girl because she ain't doing nothing and she was coming back towards me aggressive because I told her I'm not speaking to her and then I was placed in the back where the officers would be I was interviewed and a statement was taken by station sergeant Gooding and um, I then had to go and get an x-ray where it shows I have soft tissue to the neck chest and the back and now I have to um, now I start physiotherapy because it's affecting my spine and I'm currently on medication. And how has this affected your livelihood? To be honest, like I can't do anything so it's got me like depressed because I recently started my own business selling food and ham cutters and stuff and tea on mornings. So obviously I can't do anything. So I don't have I don't have an income coming in. So it's got me feeling really depressed because it's like we are ain't getting money to pay the doctor. We are how we pay for therapy. How my daughter ain't get school, she nurse fees and get paid. So it's just feeling really depressed. When I went to take back the police report, I was told that it's not guaranteeing that the lady would get charged because she's no um, she was placed in the psychiatric hospital and it's clear that she had a nervous breakdown and like like all right y'all saying she can't get charged but look at what you're going through right now all the pain and stuff like that and then um and then also They say ain't guarantee she ain't get charged. Nobody never come back and check her to see how it was doing or anything like that day. And but it just here. Nothing happening. And like I can't work. I I can't do nothing at all. I don't work in, like, like because it's full business. I woman net obviously I can't do nothing. So I ain't got an income.